All right, guys. It is a cloudy, soon-to-be stormy day here in the Caterpillar Apocalypse there in the uh, Point Lonesome Swamp. As a little dog and I, we are winding down our time in the Point Lonesome Swamp. It is now Wednesday, March 23rd or 4th, somewhere in there. Uh, 2022 as we count down our final days and speaking of countdown I'm <coughs> sitting around waiting I guess Sandy is gonna be uh, interviewing some doomer chick on her show so uh, which might still be on right now if you go over to environmental coffee house and uh, catch her interview with the newest doomer chick on the block uh, but as long as I'm thinking about Doomer Chicks, which I am quite a bit, uh, I decided to head over there once again to uh, my former buddy Vegematics channel. Uh, as some of you know, uh, Vegematic has gone off the deep end. I don't know how many of you saw his just, uh, just his unleashed tirade on uh, the threat to uh, society named Hambone Little Tail. So uh, anyway, if you have not heard uh, Veg's latest uh, rant on Hambone Little Tail, uh, go over there and uh, check it out. So for the second time in a week, I decided to go see what kind of comments were being generated uh, over there and Vegematics channel uh, to see if uh, I'm still being called. What was it, Veg, that your fans were calling me last week? A blood-sucking parasite, I think, was uh, how I was summed up by your legions of fans over there in your own tribe. Uh, so anyway, let's go check out some love letters to Hambone over there on Vegematics channel, which did not. Uh, I thought we were finally blessed. Uh, there was some rumor that Veg was going to yank his channel down, but I guess just one, one more time, he was talking out his ass. Here it is. Uh, so, of course, with 14 thumbs up, with 14 thumbs up, the comment from Hambone Little Tail, uh, quoting Warren Buffett, you know, Veg pointing out in his video uh, how I'm basically just, you know, a scumbag real estate developer, millionaire. Maybe am I a billionaire or am I only a millionaire? You know, Veg, Veg has been uh, jealous of me since the day he met me been uh, sucking up to me, uh, kissing my ass and all of this, and I finally saw what wasn't working, so he is just flat out having an attack of envy, so I thought, I let Warren Buffett uh, respond for me to that video, <clears throat> quote, it is not greed that drives the world, but Envy. Thank you, Warren Buffett, for explaining it is not greed that drives the world, but envy. And uh, certainly this diatribe uh, by the jealous Vegematic uh, is proof of that. 14 thumbs up uh, to, uh, is that Hambone Little Tails or... Uh, is that hand on Little Tail's comment or is that Warren Buffett's comment? Okay, well, I was thrilled to see a comment from Sam Mitchell over at Collapse Chronicles because in Veg's rant, he continues to promulgate this myth that Hambone Little Tail and Sam Mitchell are the same person. So this is what Sam Mitchell had to say to set the record straight <clears throat> with Vegematic and anybody else in the Doomosphere still thinking Hambone Little Tail and Sam Mitchell are somehow the same person. 
Veg. I appreciate your efforts to expose that evil monger, amigo, but I see that even a man of your intellectual acumen, discernment, and critical thinking has been snookered into believing this preposterous myth that this blood-sucking parasite is the same person as the professional and dedicated journalist Sam Mitchell. You probably also think that Guy McPherson is Sam Carana. Well, you would be right in that case, but you know what I'm saying. If you think your life has been impacted by this evil monger, just imagine what it has been like <clears throat> to be me trying to be of, this is Sam Mitchell talking, just imagine what it is like to be me trying to be of service to this planet only to have my dedicated hard work impugned and undermined by that loud-mouthed imbecile. Even going so far as to dress up his Pomeranian and try to pass him off as the inimitable and singularly unique Sancho Panza, the world champion St. Croix maned snickerdoodle. Hambone's dog could not catch a squirrel if you put one in his food dish. I have been trying to get YouTube to yank down that channel that shall rename Nameless for years to no avail. I was hoping that his disingenuous support for the Canadian truckers for freedom <clears throat> would get him yanked off the air, but even that wasn't enough. I hear through the grapevine that the idiot defender of Mother Earth just about killed himself chainsawing down one of our fellow Earthlings, so maybe that knock on his head will drive him to an early grave. I do sheepishly have to admit, however, that the dude gets an incredible amount of pussy, as you say. And, I must sheepishly admit, I have taken advantage of more than one starstruck doomer chick mistaking the two of us over the years. But other than that, it is time for this imbecile to go. Yes, that was the, uh, that little eco-pussy Sam Mitchell uh, over there at Collapse Chronicles. So anyway, what I was going to do, uh, what I was going to do today, and I might still do it, is just kind of like picking up from my rant yesterday about how uh, women, you know, intelligent, uh, educated, articulate, uh, should be self-assured, self-confident women fall for these fucking obvious blowhards. They, they, these goddamn narcissistic, misogynistic, sexist blowhards when it's so obvious to anybody. Uh, oh, 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 what a fucking uh, jerk these guys are. And I might have that. Uh, so anyway, I was thinking about that, but someone I've never heard of, some clueless bitch named Sarah Marie, has weighed in on Hambone Littletail. <clears throat> Hearing Hambone besmirch the dead Lulu with great veracity in her own house. Yes, in her own house was horrendous. Yet, he keeps living in her house, which is a sign of an exploiter. Capital E, I am a capital E exploiter for living in a dead woman's house. This was my response to the clueless bitch, Sarah Marie. Sarah, 
How do you exploit some bitch who is six feet under the ground? That bitch exploited me from the day she laid all eyes on me until the day she mercifully blew her brains out, putting about 20 grand in my pocket in the process. I am still eating her top ramen noodles. Yes, here is MG2000. What a nasty, what a messy world we live in. I bet that ham bone dude is not even real and is a deep fake that this madman Vegematic created out of unicorn waste. Blows my mind. Yes, that madman Vegematic creating ham bone. Here's a guy named Jeffrey Pearson. He claims to have met me when I lived in Cottage Grove, Oregon and went to high school with Sandy. Uh, huh, have no idea uh, who that is. Okay, I figured Keith Hayes uh, actually was kind of tame. I figured Hambone has that Charlie Manson vibe. He dreams of hippie chicks. And then uh, later, at the end of the hippie chick line, I expect adrenochrome and blood sacrifices get involved. No end to his depravity. My response to Keith Hayes is I wondered when you would get around to adrenochrome. Is that why the FBI is so interested in you, Keith? Alright, and then of course the, you know, uh, the number one troll in my life, this fat, clueless moron now calling himself Sat12, telling uh, Veg's uh, listeners to type this in YouTube, Dear Hambone Big FD, keep an eye on the bottom of the video. And uh, if you recognize that video, it's because, as I told this clueless moron, <clears throat> I posted that video on my channel last week. As whacked as she is, Dulcinea has more class in her 70s bush than you do in your entire fat clueless body. When was the last time a woman masturbated in the bathtub and made a and sent a video out to you? My guess is there are dozens of Doomer chicks across the planet diddling themselves to my videos every night. I will take a wild guess that you have never been the subject of a woman's sexual fantasies since you were born and you never will be, you fat, clueless loser. Yes. Uh, here is KB says, shifty as a shithouse rat. Yes. Uh, Good Lord, my old, uh, my old friend, former friend, and pirate, Fiesta Cranberry, showing up with 13 responses. Sorry, Veg, but Hambone is just not smart enough for all that. And then Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles says uh, to that little snake, Fiesta Cranberry, but he was smart enough to figure out how to get Collapse Chronicles back from the little pirate who kidnapped it, and that is no easy feat to break into a hacker's credentials with nine thumbs up. And uh, I think it was actually Max from Finland who spent eight hours 
uh, rescuing Collapse Chronicles from that little nasty little bitch uh, who stole it. Uh, all right, then of course, uh, Sat 12 and Fiesta, Fiesta Cranberry uh, gang up. Uh, <laughs> so Sat 12 goes on and on and on, uh, you know, and Fiesta says, well, my stars, you have certainly spent a lot of time analyzing Mr. Bone. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. Dragon Tail Tarot, dude, we always knew there were five Sanchos. Yes. Uh, here is Angela. I knew it. Five Sanchos. One dog could never sit quietly through those videos. Yes. So, uh... <laughs> Good Lord, uh... Anyway, I finally bringing up the very bottom, the very bottom uh, train lover, my old buddy train lover, defending me. <clears throat> Hambone is not a Trump tard or a Jesus freak, so he can do or load or lord over whatever he wants. Yes, I can. I can lord over whatever I want, and right now I'm lording over a caterpillar apocalypse inside a suicide's uh, house, eating her ramen noodles. Uh, but anyway, I think I've filled up the, my time, and so I'm going to go uh, fall in love with some new doomer chick that Sandy's going to introduce me to. See, it was kind of Sandy. It was Sandy and, and uh, Horse Girl who uh, teamed up to uh, introduce me to Dulcinea uh, years, three years ago, and you see what that has brought into my life. So uh, I'm getting ready to be introduced to another married Doomer chick. Oh, God, will it ever end? My gosh.